Hi guys, Miss Perkins here. Today we're going to be talking about Module 1, Lesson 11. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about being able to solve missing number word problems by drawing a picture. Now, looking at this, we know that whenever we have word problems, we know that we are going to read through our problems three times. We know the first two times is just for us to have a clear understanding of what the word problem is telling us and asking us. And then the third time that we read it is to really to circle our numbers and to really truly understand exactly how we need to solve it. Okay, so I'm going to read the word problem. It says, Dan had six balloons before his party started. His friends gave him some more. At the end of his party, he had nine balloons. How many balloons did his friends give him? I can read again. Dan had six balloons before his party started. His friends gave him some more. At the end of his party, he had nine balloons. How many balloons did his friends give him? Okay, now I'm going to read it again. Remember this time we're going to circle our numbers. While we are reading it. So Dan had six balloons before his party started. His friends gave him some more. At the end of his party, he had nine balloons. How many balloons did his friends give him? Okay, so we circled our numbers, which is six balloons before his party. And the nine balloons after the, at the end of the party. Now we're going to underline the question, which is how many balloons did his friends give him? And now we're going to box in important words. So I know that Dan had six balloons. So we know that we need to put balloons because we wouldn't know what that is. We wouldn't know if that was monkeys or crayons or pencils. We had no idea what it is. So you have to put what it is as well. So we know it is balloons. Now Dan had six balloons before. For his party. That's important. And we know that at the end of his party, he had nine balloons. Now, why are these important? Let's talk about these two words. We know that Dan had six balloons before his party even started. But at the end of his party, he had nine balloons. That was how many he had. So we know that at the end of the party, he had nine balloons all together. That means that nine is his whole. Okay, so nine is his whole. And six is one of his parts. Now, looking at our picture, our picture already has how many balloons? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balloons. Okay, so they already put our hole in here for us. Well, let's circle the part that the word problem tells us. What is the part that the word problem tells us? Up, well, I labeled my part with a P, up, which is six. Six was the part that it told us. So I circle six balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now what's left is our other part. Let's put this into our number bond. We knew that nom was our home, and six was our part. Well, how many is left? How many did we not circle? Well, one, two, three. Three is our other part. So we know that before his party started, so I'm putting it right here by six, before the party started, nine was how many he had after, I'm sorry, at the end of his party. So I'm putting E for end. And three was our mystery number. That's how many that his friends gave him. So that could be a G for gave. Okay, so now our number sentence says blank equals blank plus blank. Now remember when I told you guys about addition number sentences. Addition number sentences, the parts have to hug that plus sign. So we know that, that the, the parts have to hug the plus sign. So where's the plus sign? Up right there. Now put your parts, hugging it, and then your whole, 
is by the equal sign. So 9 equals 6 plus 3. Or you also could did 9 equals 3 plus 6. So Dan got blank balloons from his friends. Well, we know that 3 was our mystery. 3 was what we had to find out. Dan got 3 balloons from his friends. Alright guys, that is it from this video.